Why do microwaves use 2.45 gig, the perfect frequency that cooks and connects? Here's a fact that'll blow your mind. The same frequency that cooks your dinner also connects your Wi-Fi. Yep, both your microwave oven and your router operate around 2.45 gigahertz. But why that exact number? And who decided it was perfect for both food and the internet? Let's heat things up. It all started in the 1940s. Engineer Percy Spencer, working with radar equipment, noticed something strange. A chocolate bar in his pocket melted while he was near a magnetron, a device that emitted microwaves. That accident led to the invention of the microwave oven, but not all radio waves cook food. Only certain frequencies interact with water molecules efficiently. Scientists discovered that 2.45 gigahertz, or 2.45 billion waves per second, is just right. It makes water molecules vibrate like crazy, generating heat fast and evenly. Go lower, and the waves penetrate too deeply and cook unevenly. Go higher, and they barely reach inside the food. So 2.45 gigahertz hit the sweet spot. Powerful, efficient, and just the right wavelength for everyday cooking. But here's the fun twist. That same frequency band is also used by your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and even baby monitors. Not because they wanted interference, but because 2.4 gigahertz was designated as an unlicensed diazem band, meaning it was free for industrial, scientific, and medical devices. No need for government approval or exclusive licenses. So decades later, when tech companies built wireless devices, they picked this frequency to, not for cooking, but for convenience. That's why your microwave sometimes scrambles your Wi-Fi signal. They're literally shouting on the same channel, from melting chocolate in a lab to streaming Netflix at home. 2.45 gigahertz became the invisible bridge between heat and data. So next time you heat leftovers and your Wi-Fi glitches, just smile. You're witnessing a quirky overlap of science and technology. The perfect frequency that feeds your body and your internet at the same time.